Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how to calculate a determinant of a matrix in MATLAB. So for the first half of the video, I will show you how to do it analytically. And then at the later half, I will show you how to do it in MATLAB. I will show both a 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix example to clarify the concept of determinant. So let's get started. Let's see how to calculate a determinant. In this case, we will take a 2 by 2 matrix, and I will take a random 2 by 2 matrix here. Let's define it as an M matrix. So this M matrix has a 2 by 2 matrix element. So there's there are four elements here, 5, 4, 10, and 12. And now if we want to take the determinant of this matrix, what we need to do first is to multiply these two elements, 5 and 12, and then subtract that uh, by multiplying 4 and 10. So first step, multiply 5 and 12. Then the second step is to take the multiplication of 4 and 10 and then subtract subtract it. So like this, uh, if, the, if we calculate these two, we can calculate the determinant, which is 5 times 12 is 60, and 4 times 10 is 40. So if we do that, that's 20. So the de determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix is 20. Now, calculating a determinant for a 3 by 3 matrix is a little more complicated than this, but let's see an example how to do that. So if we take a 3 by 3 matrix like this, as here, if we see the matrix symbolizes as A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, and if we want to take, it, take a determinant of this, first we need to take this this first element a and then times the determinant of the these these four elements so what you have to know is that whatever element you take you cannot uh, take the determinant of that row or that column so this row and this column gets cancelled out and we have to take the determinant of this one like we have calculated a two by two matrix de determinant then we have to take a negative and then take the b element then times determinant of this d i and g f because if we take b the uh, the rows uh, are the first row and the column for this b uh, element gets uh, neglected and then the rest of the elements has to be calculated and so on so if we can see an example with this um, i will see an example so let's define a matrix like this which is a 3 by 3 matrix, and we need to calculate that. So first we'll take the element 2 times, we will take the determinant of these four elements, then negative, then negative 3 times determinant of 2, 5, 1, minus 1, and last one is take 1, and take the determinant of these four elements. So if we do that, um, if we calculate all these things, it gets up to 49. So the answer of this determinant should be, 49. So now we will go to MATLAB and see how to calculate the determinant easily in a MATLAB environment. I have opened a MATLAB script here and saved it. Now we will uh, uh, define a matrix M, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, and calculate the determinant. So let's define the matrix M right now. So M equals to the elements, uh, so we'll take a bracket here and then the elements were 5 4 in the first row and for the second row it was 10 12 so for the second row I'll put a semicolon to indicate that that's another row and then the second row was 10 12 close bracket and then I'll define a variable p that will calculate the determinant now we will use a command that's called det which is for the determinant so if we call that and parenthesis, we say M, parenthesis, close. So now the P variable should contain the determinant of M. So if we, if we run this, now as you can see, the M matrix is 5, 4, 10, 12, and the P, which is the determinant of the matrix, is 20. So that is how we can calculate a 2 by 2 matrix of determinant. We can also... Uh, calculate an n by n matrix with these command determinant. So for the next example, we'll calculate a 3 by 3 matrix and its determinant. 
Now if we recall our example of a 3 by 3 matrix, we can go back to the slide and see the matrix was this and if the calculation of the determinant was 49. Now let's define this matrix in the MATLAB environment and use the DET command to calculate the determinant in MATLAB. I have opened a MATLAB script and saved it again. Now we will de define the matrix and calculate the determinant. So I'll define the M matrix like M equals to, it's a three by three matrix, so brackets, and then two minus three, one, then semicolon, two, zero, minus one, semicolon, one, four, five. So that was our matrix and I will define again the p variable is the determinant and we'll use the det command and if I press run so this is my matrix and 49 is the value for the determinant and it matches to our analytical calculation. So in this video we have seen how to calculate determinant analytically of a matrix and also we have seen to use the determinant command det command actually in the MATLAB environment to calculate the determinant of a matrix uh, in a MATLAB command. Now we can use 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three as an example, but we can have multiple n by n matrices and calculate the determinant easily in MATLAB. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.